so I ain't gonna. Like, uh, I've, I've, I've thought about it, though, and I, I really do think that this is my favorite deck in the game right now. This is my favorite deck in Standard, 100%. I don't know about Eternal, but the problem with Eternal is that, like, you can have a favorite deck in Eternal, but that still makes Eternal pretty miserable to play. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? May I share my shop link again today? Go for it, Pink Rose. Plug yourself all you want. Plug your shop link all you want. Pull, pull, Nerf. Think of it a prime sub. What's up, thought, dude? We have to take disable keywords here. Meowdy chat. I just dropped a Harry Potter collection. If you have any Potterhead friends, make sure to share with them. I can, I can vouch. They look, they look fantastic. I wish I was less European so I could order them without feeling guilty about how extremely expensive shipping can be. <laughs> you called and I answered. You're playing Elemental Volley to honor the Pixar movie? It's not to honor the Pixar movie, but I will say that I actually, I enjoyed it more than I thought I would. That movie was, was better than I thought it was going to be. Shipping is OP, it needs a nerve, I'll say, man. Agreed. Also, I should have played this. To have a better block. Um, okay, you have Deathless. The name of the person, I'm dying, it's important. What does it mean? <laughs> Remy on a 45 stream straight, god damn. Hey, you're, you, you, you're here every single time, Remedy, and you also talk every single time. Sometimes, I see I see somebody pose like they're, they're 70 stream streak, and they have like 40 messages in the, in the chat, and I'm like, oh my god. Silent supporter, you know? <laughs> Respect you. But you're here every time, so I, I I would have expected it from you. Thank you, by the way. The Zephyr heralds the squall. Okay, not really the cards you want. Yeah. Like the chinchilla's really good here. Though we don't have Sky Splitter anymore. I chat a lot, but some time it goes. No, no, I mean, I, 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 like, I have nothing but gratitude either way. It's like sometimes you see a name and you don't expect it. I think I have to pass here. Yeah. I don't know if we beat the uh, the late game, but I have to risk it. No chinchilla this time. Bad hand. <laughs> That's the third hay spike, right? One... No, it's the second. Second hay spike. That's <laughs> that's the third one though. Okay. Like I don't I don't care at all about that unit, so we'll just we'll just take it. Warm your body, warm your soul. Okay, we're in a position right now where a clash of giants can just take over the game. The Zephyr heralds the squall. I just really, really, really like Chinchilla. Uh, that's the nine man of Olibear. No chinchilla. Deathless as well. Okay, we, we're gonna have to use a harsh winds here. In you, I see my will made manifest. How much are you? Diana, Eleven. Your wind makes my burdens lighter. 
My tempest shields us. Your wickedness shall not prosper. They don't have their champion, which is why I'm playing the way I am. I could just kind of take all the time I need. In you, I see my will okay, I mean, now I can't play her anymore. Your wind makes my burdens lighter. Okay. Storm unrelenting. So you might just get hit like instantly with a cart, like a vengeance or something. I could also make board space for Clash. Should have let words solve this. Take a load off. I think the elemental decks is one of the, I, I love this one so much. It's my favorite deck. Is that four? I think we're pretty lucky that they're not drawing their champions. That's that's really all there is to it right now. Challenger. Alright, let's rip it. Whack. Could be worse, I guess. It could be worse. I mean, okay. Opponent is not managing their resources well at all, and I hope we can get a win off of it. But it's... It's gonna take a while. I'm not using Harsh Winds either for that, because they have Challenger here. Okay, there's Chinchilla. And another Clash. Try to kiss the homie deck, but with Jace instead of Janna? Mm, no, and I don't think I would either. I don't like Jace. Okay. We still have two chinchillas in the deck. They're not drawing their champion, so we still kind of just have all the time in the world. But once they drop Mordekaiser, things could get rough. I, I need to set up the, the Volibear with chinchilla. Twelve. Disown your ill intent. Tough day, friend. Don't tell me I have another Vengeance. Okay. They're gonna have a big Viego. Mordekaiser 10 out of 15. 28, 75. They also have like their inevitable wing con. But we're, we're just putting it on the Volibear right now. Volibear wins it. Spins it and wins it. I think I'll just use this. It gets doubled up for almost no value, but... Yeah. Just don't don't mess you up with extra board space on the first summon, please. Oh, right, there we go. <laughs> a 
And this is why this is my favorite deck. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Beautiful, man. Aatrox Vein. I have to keep Sky Splitter to be able to go into combat. I need a playable card. Like, Winter Starch would be great. Okay, awesome. <laughs> top, just top deck better, I guess. Uh, the only problem is, like, I could play this uh, and then Sunken Temple next turn, but if they played a scout unit with a weapon on it, it's not great. I think I just have to try to play the Sunken Temple here. Yeah, there's a very high chance that they played a scout unit here, though. But it doesn't have anything, like, it doesn't have scout yet with no weapon. A weapon. <laughs> Arsh. Okay. Dead, I guess. Okay. They could have just won the game there. By attacking with everything. That was exactly lethal. Now we have to try to stabilize. This is still a great attack for them, though. Yeah, that's exactly why I had to play it this way. Mm. And maybe I should have gone for the block here anyway. Yeah, for three mana. It's just like, if it's three mana and they have Gentleman's Duel... ...plus something, then I lose. Okay, this is a really good draw. If Chinchilla doesn't die here, we're kind of in a good spot. Yeah, so now we're just gonna have gigantic birds. <laughs> All right, so we, we got through the awkward phase at the start here. All, that lives, I will end. All right, good luck. What is our loose con? This. The world ender. Okay, we have Volibear, so we win. Okay, and we have Harshman. Okay, nah, we, we're good, we're good, we're good. We just won the game here. That Winter's Touch draw off the top into Sunken Temple completely changed everything. We would not be where we are right now without that. Forty. Forty-two. GG. Did they just pass there? Like, that's GG, right? This is Aatrox Vein. There is nothing they do against this. The storm breaks all. Wait, they had a really good curve, too. I guess the only thing that would have made it better is if they had, like, one drop... Weapon on one drop, Vayne on three, and then the scout unit, maybe? Because I wasn't contesting it anyway. But yeah, we won by having Chinchilla into uh, Sky Splitter. I'm, I'm not gonna pretend like it was anything else. That was the only thing. Any other deck recommendations? Um, 
Depends on what you like to play. Okay, so this is good because it's a weapon that can... Or weapon removal, rather. Better get the forge going. So, uh, is it the Jax? No Jax! Oh Zio to you! Thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. You try to eat your Blade Berserker deck? Is that a 4 mana 3 4? If so, yes. I played that on like the first or second day of the variety patch. Banger deck. Very fun. Bethany, that's the one. I just don't think everybody knows it as Bethany. <laughs> I probably shouldn't double it up. Doesn't seem worth it. You can fix anything with anything. I'll prove it. Here, let me see that. I'm here in Jana's name. It's amazing you can clear entire boards with two of them. I'm having a blast with it. It's so fun with uh, Bellow's Breath. Yeah. Me and Majibe were uh, theory crafting decks with her for the the right invitational. Landed on something pretty cool, but it, it wasn't refined. It definitely wasn't good enough back then. So if they pass here, I'm happy because then I just play Chinchilla plus these two. They attack, I play Spirit Song of Temple. Righty tidy. Not another step. Bury me at sea. Also, Uder Stance deals one to everything, turns to three to everything into Galio Rally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there's so many fun combos, man. I, I think it's one of the, like, those type of cards are exactly the type that I just adore so much. Because it feels like not only does it give love to a otherwise kind of forgotten archetype, it, it, it's also just like there are other meme combos you can do with it that are really fun. You try playing Draven Scion in Eternal Rank, that's what I used to reach Master. Yeah, I've, I mean, I played it with Rumble, which was uh, not terrible, but... I think Simon might be a little bit better. Draven Rubble is a little bit all in. I made this hammer. It was so good I named it. Hammer. Weaponless Orn? Well, I'll never. It gets away with it though. They have no weapon right now, so they can't even. Oh, never mind. They can do that. Somebody hold my beer. Ew. My card. Okay. He also leveled. Now this is what good looks like. I should let them attack and then play it. Or I should just... I should have maybe not been greedy and just play this and then Chinchilla. Yeah. Twelve. Twelve is not playable. 12. I do this. I refill mana. 11. Then I don't have boar space, right? It's one off either way. Yeah, it's one off. I'm not dead to this attack, so...
Got more scars than years and got a lot. How did I not draw into a harsh winds? I've not seen a single updraft or a single harsh winds actually. Did I? Maybe I've seen one. I couldn't use it. Oh, you, you done messed up now, boy. You done messed up now. Oh, there it is. Four mana there. Wait, am I one off? Oh, I was one off. Okay, but I can kill it. Okay, I should have started with the draw. That's my bad. That's my fault right there. I should have done that. That was bad. Oh, didn't matter. You're gifted. Okay, what? Am I dead now? Really? Don't don't tell me I lose because of that, please. My heart can't take that. 14, 16. No, I'm not dead. No fixes that. No, 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 no. Here comes my Are you leveled? Friend. Wait, if he's leveled? No, he's not. They have no. Damn it! That wasn't good. Okay. Volibear, I'm gonna need you to hit here. Hit them both. Come on. Name's Ord. No further pleasantries needed. Good enough. None shall I'll forgive you. you anyway. No, I messed that up. I, my, my, my sequencing was off. I should have started with the Eye of the Storm every time. Oh my god. Killing the light. Uh, that's hot. Three. Wait, but I might be able to kill them though. They're dead. Just be better. Ah, stupid misplay though with the eye of the storm. That's just that's just bad card game mechanics. Always draw first and then use the other spell. When this rotation, I thought it was early March. I've been waiting to use my card to figure out what's staying. Yeah, it got delayed by four weeks. So rotation should officially be happening in like a little over two weeks. Actually, is it? No, it's like uh, it's like 15 days, I think. I can't keep Winter Touch against Lurk. No, you can't. I don't. I don't think you report people to the client. I really don't. With the power of time, the possibilities are endless. You try and put a ticket, maybe. I'll just see if I can message Riot after the stream. Can be undone. I have to. Uh, I have to VOD and everything. Let's hope that someone from Riot is. Well. I don't like what actually happens if you have a uh, offensive username. Is it like, does Riot just approach you and tells you like, hey, you gotta change this? Or or is it actually like, is it a bannable offense? Because like, if, 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 if our opponent gets banned, you know, we're, we're not gonna have anything left. That, that's one of five PvP players. I don't care about these units. We gotta spend money to change it. We don't have interest doing it for you for free. Nah, no, based. <laughs> you, you take a cringe username, you gotta change it yourself. 
Wait, they have a Rek'Sai and they're playing it like this? My work. Why would they open attack in there on four mana? Why don't they develop? May your blessings upon me ease Is that the first Re I think that's the first Rek'Sai, right? I think they drew the Rek'Sai just now. Oh. What? <laughs> well. <laughs> Had I known, I would have taken weapon removal, but I don't think you, you, you're supposed to know. This is a really good pass. Because if I attack, they block, they play a unit, and then they put the weapon on there. I don't even think I need to bluff Avalanche. It's just like I'm passing because they want to use this. Oh, that's a uh, snap go. Okay, I mean. Your wickedness shall not prosper. Hmm. Is it time? I'm not a huge fan of this play. Because I think our hand was like pretty decent. I don't care about them having the weapon on this. That's like, that's not good for them. Okay, that's really good. Seven. So Rexai is at eight. Maybe they miss Lurk, you know? gonna miss. I don't know why you're even attacking, because you're obviously gonna miss. Damn it. So, it's at 11? Yeah, they predicted. <laughs> you're right, they actually predicted. Yeah, fight me, dude! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. And then Jada's one off? Alright, alright, alright. All right. So, uh, pretty far off of winning, but it's a, it's a funny play at least. Nice level 6 or turn 6 Rek'Sai level, man. Uh, better luck next time. Is that a scary rally? I don't think it is. Face the whirlwind. I think it's better to keep mana for harsh winds right now. It's like uh, second Rek'Sai is obviously pretty bad. Actually, this this has to be better. I think this is better, because if they play a Rek'Sai now, I can still disable their, uh, their overwhelm for next turn. That's your attack. Okay. Alright. So I draw... I'm gonna have seven cards in my hand now? That's a really good draw. This is insane. This is just gonna be bigger than Kek'Sai. A gentle breeze to oh. ease your burden. Fall a bear! Yes! No! How big is that? It's not level, right? <sighs> My Jada! They should have killed the 4 4, I think. No. Aw, now he's leveled. Little boy. All the coin in the world. Won't keep them off my lips. 
This is a pretty classic lure game, dude. Yeah, I played a new one. That is an unbelievable high roll for them. Oh my god. That's by far the best possible card they could have had. By far. Oh no. Not only do I take nine. It also means that next turn they can just pike and kill me. So I have to make the first card to play pretty meaningful. Okay. How big is Pike actually? Pike is like 11, right? Doesn't matter what I do. Pike is big enough to kill us anyway. Pike is at 11. So I can open attack and then try to kill the Pike with the Volibear Bear if I draw another one. Oh, that, okay. That's that's actually very good. That's very good. Uh, so we should go this. And then this. And then this. For 14. So they should be too big for Pike to kill. Yeah, Chichilla and Duvali is 12, right? Oh, I could actually consider that, though. So they pike? Okay, sure. But then I have two that live. So, like, what now? Aren't you just dead? You got another pike? Oh, you're dead. <laughs> Baited and outsmarted! Ah, we're winning some pretty solid games, man. They had a, a turn six Rek'Sai level up, double pike to level him up, and we still just got there. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. One slip up. But yeah, so that's that's the issue a lot of the time, and this is also my issue with Elder Dragon. Uh, if you're playing a deck like this, you have to be like. Well, I mean, I, I don't even think this is like the best example, but you have to be really careful with what cards you play and how you get your value. Value. Whereas with Elder Dragon, it's just like you don't you don't really have to think about what cards you play as long as you're playing them. If that makes sense, it's like yeah, play your six drop, you'll probably be fine, man. It's really all it is. Elder Dragon's autopilot. Yeah, I didn't want to say it, but I I don't disagree with you. <laughs> Goizen, think for the two months. Three. Thank you, thank you. So how do you think they should nerf Elder? Personally, I think if you're running one Elder Dragon, you should not be allowed to get any boons. If you're running two Elder Dragons, you should get one random boon. If you're running three Elder Dragons, you should get choice of two boons. I know that's harsh. Some people might be saying like, yeah, if you're running one, one boon. If you're running two, two boons. If you're running three, three boons. I, I think it should be minus one on all of that. One Elder Dragon is no boons. I, to me, it feels like the origin is strong enough to incentivize deck building around that. Um, so that's why I think that if you're running to, you're playing an actual Elder Dragon deck and you should be rewarded for that. Elder is fine after the boon nerf though, you're coping if you think that. That is not true. <laughs> I've got gravel that is, uh, that is incorrect. Did I kill that? I think I want to use this. I low think I'm just like aftershocking this. Just having six costs from anywhere is so broken. See, that's kind of the thing. Oh, that's kind of cool. I should have killed him. Yeah, so exactly. The, the origin itself, the Elder Dragon origin is definitely just like good enough to uh, build a deck around it. So if, if you have that region, if you can build a deck like that with any six costs from any region, that like it breaks deck building so much already. In, in a good way, by the way. I think it's awesome that it's possible. It's very strong. But the boon just, just make it like way too consistent.
You called and I answered. Uh oh. I cast thee out. Rip. I will protect them. One turn too late. Okay, if they don't kill Chinchilla, we're chilling. Let's see what you got. Do you think that they should make that units like Invasive Hydrovine should not get any boons if they are not a dragon? I don't think they should do that, no. I think it's fine if everything gets a boon, but you should just... There should be a real deck building cost in a way where you're not just rewarded for already playing like insanely good six cost in a region that can support them, even like the bare minimum. That's how I feel about it. Sucks. The reason I'm killing this is Mordecai's. Isn't it? Mordekaiser ruins us. That is uh, arguably just as bad. Oh no. Well, one turn and we get Volibear. We just need to live now. Well, damn it. I don't think I could play Sunken Temple because I really need to play Volibear next turn. Fill your lungs and cry, Janna. Janna. All right, here we go. Shoot that Mordekaiser for me. Oh, actually, I could play this. Try to high roll, but like. What if they deny? But then this can also be denied. All right, if they have to deny, we just lose. I'm just gonna go here. Yeah. Cool. I deserve that. Away. Why are they passing here? I cast thee out. I'll take this one. I'll clear the way. I really like that uh, Katagrin also buffed these two. That's kind of cool. Um, do we do we lose to that next turn? It's like entirely possible. Doldrums cause cabin fever. Yeah, I'm just gonna draw a million cards, I guess. My wind is at your back. Go. We'll have to see if we can beat that. Because we're at 5 HP. The Zephyr heralds the squall. As long as this dies. I will the storm. Actually, do we take one now because of that? Oh, we do. We're... <laughs> Are we dead anyway? Why did they pass? 
Atrocity plus a die? It, this is standard. They can't atrocity. They, I, I really thought they were gonna attack with Mordekaiser, so that they could like burn us down from four or something. Black spear. Oh, they actually, they don't have deny except the unit deny. They have three vengeance. Oh, okay. They have three. No, we we always won there. No, they couldn't win. Because they needed, like, if we're at 4 HP, they needed either double Death's Grasp, and they already used one, or they needed, like, Hate Spikes, which they don't run. This is a really cool deck, but that is crazy greedy, dude. Thinking of the Brazilian victor, time bomb printer, one, two, Mr. Ship.